Welcome 2022 and we started this year with three things. The continuously very transmissive Omicron variant, an almost 40 year all time high inflation rate. Fed is projecting three interest hikes this year. In this video, I'm going to share with you what I am going to do with my money in 2022 after a smashing success of 80% return last year. I'm going to go through different asset classes such as stocks, options, real estate maybe, crypto and cash. This video is by no means any financial advice. I don't even plan to make this video. But after seeing all those YouTubers showing up, taking up my newsfeed, I was like, hmm, it may be fun for me to make one too. As I do have a different take on investing. I'm not saying I have the best strategy and I'm not even right all the time. I'm here to just share my opinions and bounce off ideas and learn from each other in this community. If you appreciate this kind of information, the transparency, or the design thinking that helps make a better investment, please smash the like button down below. That will help my channel a lot and I will thank you in advance. Now, let's get into it. Good morning, everyone. My name is Justine. I'm a designer working in Silicon Valley. It's mid-January, so hopefully it's not too late to still share my 2022 money slash investing plan. Let's start with some macro environments which most investors have questions about. First, we have the Omicron variant. Seems like spreading out pretty rapidly around the world. Headlines everywhere. Then we have the crazy high inflation hitting a 40 year all time high. To fight that, the Fed is gonna use the supercharged move, raise interest rates early and do that three times in 2022. These are not the best news for the stock market. In 2018, the Fed increased the interest rate several times and you know, the market reacted with a 25 ish percent drop in about three months. Generally speaking, when the interest rate rises, the stock markets tend to react negatively as investors are shifting towards safer slash more predictable assets. Maybe from the fast growing high PE ratio, high tech companies like Tesla to stable paying soft drinking Coca-Cola. And sometimes you will see the term sector rotation pops up and that's what that is about. It rotates out of tech to more consumer staples. Hmm, should I be worried? Oh my gosh, should I start selling? What am I going to do with my stocks? And that leads to my first asset class, stocks. I do have a lot of stocks. My main asset is actually in stocks. I have high tech stocks like Tesla, which is more prone to these kind of environment. I have tech stocks like Tesla. I handpick my individual stocks like Tesla. I guarantee you this is not a Tesla ad, okay? But yes, I do do my homework, do my research and handpick each individual stock. I don't have index fund, I don't do index fund. With all that established, here's what I'm gonna do with my stocks this year. I'm continuing to execute my V4.2 strategy. Keep buying, not selling. I reached this conclusion because V4.2 actually worked. And the best way to elaborate this is to take you back to my design thinking and process and we will go step by step. In this very uncertain, not stock friendly environment, it is a problem for investors, including myself. When there's a problem, and design thinking is a great way to tackle this. So first we know who are the users. Well, in this case, I am managing my portfolio for myself, so I am the user. What are the needs? What do users need? I need to grow my account. I want to maintain the growth. I want to outperform SPY. And I want to do these two things, even in this high interest rate macro environment. There are some known constraints and insight and learning that I have gathered along the way. I know that I don't know if the market is going to go up or down. If it goes down, I don't know when it will go down. When it goes down, I don't know how low it will go down to. And I also know trading doesn't work because when I traded between 2015 to 2020, this is what I ended up with. And I also know my V4.0 strategy works. If you really want to dive into my 4.0 strategy, I've made a video in July last year. You can check it out in the corner in the description down below. I have been using this V4.2 strategy throughout 2021. And you know, I have Tesla and in January, Tesla peaked. I bought some. Oh crap, they decided to go down. Well, I bought more. Holy moly, it went down 40%. Well, I bought more. And all this buying without any selling helped me get to my 80% return last year. So we can check this 80% result against our needs, against my needs. Did that grow my account? Yes. Did it outperform SPY? Yes. Yeah, so it works. And if you think about it, the interest rate doesn't actually matter here because it's just another external factor that drives or cause the stock goes up or down. 
essentially this is about what I'm gonna gonna do with my stocks if any of the external factors cause my stocks to go down what I'm gonna do when that happens it could be the election is coming it could be sector rotation it could be Clay Thompson coming back on court it can literally be anything it's just this time it's about interest rate hikes if the entire market is selling off and Tesla is selling off along with it but I know I handpicked Tesla so I know it's a fast growing high quality company it is going to recover when the investors and hedge funds are going to be rational again by that time I will already have accumulated a lot of shares at a lower price and then of course it will amplify my gains when Tesla dropped 40% last year in 2021 I kept buying I didn't sell anything if Tesla drops 40% again this year I'm gonna do the same thing I'm gonna keep buying I'm not gonna sell a single share plus with this strategy I don't need to spend any time or effort trying to guess estimate speculate gamble which direction the stock's gonna go up or down here there tomorrow the day after tomorrow or looking backward and draw a bunch of triangles and i think that really gives me a peace of mind in my tesla case i think it's going to be very fine they just completely surprised the wall street with an 87 percent increase in their delivery numbers they're moving so fast that i think the growth of tesla will outpace the interest rate hike so I don't need to sell anything anytime soon. Other than buying more of my existing holdings, I have no plans to add any other position at the moment. In terms of actual execution, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna direct deposit about half of my paycheck directly to my TD Ameritrade account. Direct deposit directly. Sounds funny, huh? Then I'm just gonna close my eyes and do a market buy. And of course, I will also set some limit buys like 10, 15, 20% lower than the 52 week high so that I can catch some good deals while I'm sleeping. Quite a lot to sink in, huh? How about let's take a short break? In the meantime, if you enjoy watching content like this, drop a like down below to help out the channel so that I can create more thoughtful content in the future. Sounds good? Now let's get to the next asset class, options. I consider options as a different asset class because I want to draw a distinction away from stocks as options are typically seen as speculative YOLO Wall Street bet make me a millionaire in one week gambling type of thing yet I see options a bit differently as I use them to help solve my problem meet my needs and hit my goals as I keep refining and optimizing my strategies I try to find a way to grow my account more and faster and this is where options come in. In my strategy 4.2, I sell cash secure puts and covered costs every week so that I can use those weekly gains to buy more shares. However, throughout 2021, this is what I learned. With Tesla puts, I did okay. But with Tesla calls, I actually lost money. And the net, I'm actually very deep in the red. So clearly, my strategy 4.2 has holes in it and the option side of things is not working. So this is the next thing I need to iterate on in my next version. In addition to the red, I find myself spending maybe a little bit too much time looking at those options every week. So I'm going to add one more need to my list. I need to save myself some time. I need to reduce the time that I spend on a single swim platform. I need to reduce my screen time. Since I approach options with the same investing mindset as stocks, everything else will still apply and all else being the same. So here is what I'm gonna do in 2022 in options. I'm gonna sell calls instead of weekly. I'm gonna do maybe six months away so that I don't have to look at it maybe twice in a year. I can get a more stable gain and doesn't require me a lot of time and energy. And then similar concept for the puts. I will sell it maybe a month away so that I can sell it at the lower strike. If it hits the strike price at expiration, I could roll it to the next month or I could just let it be exercised because it might be such a great deal at that point. With monthly puts, I just need to look at it maybe 12 times per year. The last is I will keep buying leap calls if the market sells off. And in fact, I just bought one. Next, real estate. Just kidding. I don't have that amount of money laying around for real estate yet. So I didn't do much research to look into it. Maybe I, when I save enough, I'll be there. So let's just go to the next super exciting and trendy asset. Crypto. I don't have a super strong understanding in crypto yet, but I'm still learning. I understand some of it. I understand some value and why it makes sense in what scenario. But I don't have such a strong conviction to go big on crypto. But still, I'm going to accumulate more bit by bit over time. And this is my plan. I'm going to do direct deposit $40 a month into my BlockFi account. So I will spend 20 of that on Bitcoin, 20 on Ethereum every month. Yeah, $40 can look a bit embarrassing. 
I'm just checking out. But you do you, I do me. The four dollars just correspond to the level of commitment and conviction that I have at the moment, which is directly proportional to my understanding and knowledge of crypto. If you know a lot more, all power to you. Feel free to leave a comment to educate me a bit. I would love to learn more. To Jack Dorsey, Bitcoin is probably the most important thing to work on in his life. He said in the Bitcoin conference in 2021. So he resigned as the CEO of Twitter and rebrand Square into Block. That's his super high conviction. And $40 is mine. And I think both are actually fine. The next thing is that we know my BlockFi account is actually earning interest. So every month, this interest from Bitcoin and Ethereum, we automatically buy more of those themselves. Not a crazy amount, but you know, I can accumulate them in a small incremental amount every month. Another thing I would do to accumulate more crypto is that I will use that 1.5% Bitcoin reward credit card, well, also from BlockFi, to pay for my like Geico, AT&T, and some other miscellaneous purchases. So the reward will also grow my Bitcoin equity over time. Next is cash. This should be fairly straightforward. Personally, I don't keep a lot of cash, especially considering this flying high inflation, I'll be losing money if I keep a lot of cash. So I only have four months of emergency fund in my high yield savings account. In case anything goes south, I can live for four months, find out the job, and things will be okay. But since inflation has gone up, the price of rent and everything else might have gone up. So I should add 1K more to my emergency fund, which adds up to be about $85 per month. Yeah, believe it or not, that's my very simple, straightforward, non-holding back money plan for 2022. This again, not financial advice, just some random YouTuber with less than 5K subscribers babbling his thoughts, but interestingly, had more than 80% return last year. Hmm, maybe I should apply some design thinking in my own investing too. Anyways, I will have my yearly portfolio review in July, so you can stay tuned to see how great or poorly that I do at that time. If you have any thoughts, questions, or topics you want to see in future videos, feel free to let me know in the comment section down below. Well, that's it for today. Thank you guys for watching. If you have learned what you wanted, well, congratulations, and hope I earned a big like from you for this video. If you like free money and don't mind just two minutes of work, you can use my referral codes for one free stock from Robinhood, two free stocks from Webull, $10 worth of Bitcoin from BlockFi, and lastly, $5 free cash from the Cash App. If you sign up for that, in addition, I will give you $2 worth of Apple stocks. Great deal. Dividend paying stocks. You can find all the referral codes, links, and instructions in the description down below. If you want to see more finance by design videos like this, consider smash the subscribe button as well. Doing so will tremendously help the channel and motivate me to produce more high quality content down the road. Have fun following your passion and keep using design to square up your finances. See you on the next video. Cheers. Thank you.